more Hershey. Right here. Oh! <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Hey, hey, are y'all surprised that I actually got around to cleaning those brushes? You know how good it felt to put my makeup on today with clean brushes, but don't don't look at my makeup because like I really just do this shit on because I am rushing. I do not like to rush. I tell y'all why I'm rushing in a minute, but um, <laughs> I don't know why y'all act like I would not throw a wig on in a minute. Oh, I'll take these clips out because I will. My hair is beyond raggedy. I need a haircut. I need a dye job. I need a lot. And I'm waiting to the first. So, um, we got, ooh, damn, Monday it'll be a week, baby. Ooh, we got like a week and a couple of days. So, I was just like, baby, throw the wig on. Try to throw it on. And this, look, this is a hair VV wig, but it wasn't sponsored, so I ain't have to do the work with y'all. So, I threw this thing on this morning. Okay, and then I put a clip in my hair because I tried to look, do, <laughs> do these little braids um, and wet it because it was a little bushy. I don't even know. This is my mama. So I gave my mama my hair VV wig. That's the wig she had on. And she bought one and we switched because she didn't like how dark this one was. But all I have to say is I don't know what type of hair this is. Like, I think it's one of them hairs that y'all know I don't know nothing about weave. So, ooh damn well that wasn't good it's that hair that like i look like damn pocahontas <laughs> um you know it's like wavy hair wet and wavy or something like it ain't necessarily na I, like the natural texture of it isn't straight of course you can straighten it but i'm not gonna do all that so i think it's supposed to have like a wave to it so i sprayed it i didn't put no product i don't know i sprayed it and i just braided it up let me take this down Cause girl, I don't know. I guess it is like a wavy, a loose wave, girl. I didn't want to put no product in it. Cause I didn't really care for it to be defined or anything. I kind of just wanted to wear it like in its natural state. Cause I don't do much with hair. Um, and then I did like this side part, which I might have to go back in there. Oh, but what do y'all think? Girl, okay, um, I am rushing because I'm playing a trick on Lorraine. I wasn't going to tell y'all until we got in the car, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to show up to her house with no dog. She's going to be like, where the dog at? Because I made the, um, a groomer appointment, but it's in Tennessee, so I'm going to drop him off before I go to her house. And she's going to be asking me where the dog, and I'm going to be like, I, get, I got rid of him, girl. Times was hard. <laughs> But before that, I need to go and get gas and get me something to eat. Because y'all know how he going to act. Um, and I don't want to be bothered with him. This is exactly why. 
I don't need to have no kids because I'm already trying to go and sneak and have food by myself without kids, with a dog. So I would be one of them people that's like trying to eat in the car and avoid the kids. And I don't, that's not the life I really think I want to live. Y'all, I haven't had Chick-fil-A in so long. And that's what we get in trying to, oh, I do not like being rushed and feeling overwhelmed. The groomer appointment is at 3.30. So I was like, bro, by bare minimum, we need to leave here at 1.30. And I don't like, that's two hours. Like, it shouldn't take me two hours. But I wanted to leave at 1, but it's 12.44. So I have to get this food, try to eat it, get gas. And I have to go back home and get the dog and then the stuff. See, if I wouldn't have no damn dog, the stuff would be in the car and we wouldn't have to go back home. And I know y'all like, well, you could have taken what you know because I don't, uh uh, he was gonna be getting on my nerves. I was gonna be having to yell and scream and cuss. Then y'all was gonna be mad at me, talking about don't treat him like that and all that. It's, it is literally, y'all, an animal is, oh my God, it is like fucking baggage. And I know that a child is, and that's why I'm like, baby. And you know what? I've said this before. I'm gonna say it again since we on the subject. It's not even that like I don't want to have a child because I don't want to do it. It's just kind of like the dog. It's just this just reinforced the fact that I could not be a single mother. I would probably be a terrible mother if I was a single mom. And I hate to say that, but it's literally the truth. I need help. I'm easily overwhelmed. I do not have patience. I would need my partner to go ahead and pick up the slack because it's gonna be a lot of it. I'm telling you. I, uh, I need help with this damn dog. Like, if I had somebody with me, I would have bought the dog. Because they could have, you know, but it's just me. And, uh-uh. Okay, y'all. Damn, I hate when we don't get to go up to the window. Because I don't know what I want. Oop. Oh. Hi. Hi. Um, Amelia. Amelia, what can I get for you? Um, do you have a little flip me you like she does? I do not. We ran out. Course. Um, is there anything I could probably help you with or an idea maybe you have? I kind of wanted to look, but I will get uh, number one. I mean, if you want to look, here, give me one second. Do you guys have any seasonal items right Just now? Just our tortilla soup and the milkshake. That's what, what's it. the milkshake? Peppermint milkshake. So, like, you know how most places have peppermint flavors? Ours is like a peppermint milkshake. Same thing. And Those no. Are no more pimento? No, that ran out about a couple months ago. A month? Oh, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been, it's been a minute. But we just have our basic stuff. So the only seasonal things are going to be that tortilla soup and the milkshake. Um, I want a number one. I want to add Kobe Jack cheese. Yep. And I feel like I had something else. Whatever. Um, actually, can you make it a spicy chicken sandwich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, With Kobe Jack? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I want a large fry. Gotcha. And an Arnold Sunjoy. Yeah. You're good. I, I still call it an honor bomber. Did you want to do just the medium size for the drink or the also large? No, you can do a medium drink. Gotcha. And sauces or condiments for you? Uh, Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce. Anything else? That's it. Okay, it's going to be 11 11 for you. And I get a little dogs. Thank you. Just collecting them. 11 11? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you too. Y'all heard that? 11 11. <laughs> it, it, baby, because it couldn't be 111 dollar and 11 cent. Yeah, right. 11 11. I'll take that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Damn, I wanted my pimento. <laughs> ah, and I don't know about it being a couple of months. When was the last time I had Chick fil A? Did I have Chick fil A in November? I might not have had Chick-fil-A since October, possibly. If not, it was like the beginning of November. It's been it's been a month at least. Yeah, like this week. I know I put it up because see, I don't be wanting hair all over the place. So I got it in like a claw clip. And let me tell you how hard it is to put these in claw clips. Because the claw clip ain't got nothing to grab onto, baby. Like, what you want me to do? This ain't your real hair. I can't grab nothing. I'm grabbing wig scalp not wig scalp like the cap <laughs> okay y'all they just came up to me and gave me my little bag now i need to what is this because i i was looking like did they give me the right order with this little kid booklet in there like it's a damn happy meal oh i do not like being rushed baby it's the worst feeling ever mm, 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 mm. why is chick-fil-a <laughs> Every time I have Chick-fil-A, I literally ask the same thing. Why is Chick-fil-A so, like, perfect? 
It's literally perfect. Like, it's just holy. I guess because it's closed on Sunday. I know it's a Christian company, but it don't make no sense the way that food be. Oh, let me not say that. It's one time in my life, y'all, that I got food poisoning from Chick-fil-A, and I couldn't believe Chick-fil-A would do me like that. I'll never forget, because it was right around Christmas time. I think I actually came home, yep, from Tennessee for Christmas, and y'all heard her say they got that peppermint shake. Yep, because my mama was telling me the peppermint shake was real good, and I wanted to get it. And so I ran up there right before they closed, like right before they closed, like five minutes. And baby, the peppermint shake wasn't even worth it. But that chicken sandwich, I could tell, was a little off. <laughs> I ate it anyway and was dog sick the next day. Oh my God. Oh, um, Chick fil A sauce is so good. <laughs> Y'all, Chick-fil-A literally do sell us the same thing. It don't, it don't, no, nothing ever changed hardly. Like, they gave us that pimento sandwich and that was groundbreaking. They sell us the same thing and we act like it's the best shit ever every time we get it. I mean, consistency, they got it. Y'all, I am living, and I got the spicy chicken sandwich. I never get spicy chicken with some cheese on it. I, oh, I knew, I was like, it's something that I like to do to my sandwiches, and I couldn't remember. I like to add for extra pickles, and I did it. So now I got these two funky pickles. Mmm. Y'all, Chick-fil-A is crazy. I mean, the, the the chicken is just seasoned. It's just crunchy. They're just perfect, like in every way. Y'all, I did not think this through. Not that I really had a choice, but I don't know if y'all know this. So when I came to Tennessee for the holidays, the last holiday was Thanksgiving. I left, like I left my house on Thanksgiving Day, and I went home on Sunday, I think, or Saturday. No, I went home on Saturday. And everybody was wondering, why would you travel, like, on the holiday? And then why would you not wait till Sunday? And my um, logic was this. Okay, I know the day before Thanksgiving, because, you know, it's not as crucial as Christmas or whatever. Everybody going to be traveling. And my uncle was traveling the day before Thanksgiving from Chicago. And he had so much traffic. He was cussing and fussing. I didn't have none. My uncle left Sunday to go home. And everybody else was returning to their homes on Sunday. And he had hella traffic. I left on Saturday. I didn't have none. So why am I leaving my house Friday, the Friday before Christmas, Christmas is Monday. Baby, it's because the fish fry, because listen, what I'm trying to say is it's traffic and I do not like dealing with traffic and I usually don't. Had I not been trying to go to this fish fry, baby, I probably would be traveling on Christmas Eve on Sunday because nobody else would be doing that. They would already be where they're supposed to be for the most part. But yeah, the, the Friday before the holiday, cause you know everybody, they probably didn't even work today at all, but whatever, you get what I'm saying. It is traffic. And I am sad because I have this appointment that I need to make. And I did not, I ain't gonna say I didn't think this through y'all, cause I had to film an integration before I left and like for work and cause they wanted it done before the new year and I already have my video scheduled. This is the last video of 2024. Oh my God, it sure is. It sure is, which makes me feel like I wanna do a reflection later. I hope I remember. But yeah, this is the last video in 2024 that I'm filming. So I was like, okay, well, y'all gonna have to get up on it. Cause when I get home, the day after Christmas, I'ma edit this and then I'm gonna start vlogging again, but that won't be released till probably January 1st. So that'll be the first video of 2024. I said this is this the last video of 2024, okay. No, this the last video of 2023. I don't know what I said. I don't know when I run it back and I know I probably said something wrong when I'm editing it. Anyway, yeah, I'm not trying to, this traffic is not what I was trying to do. It's not that I had a choice though. And I'm in plenty enough good time for the fish fry. The fish fry ain't until 6.30. It's this damn dog. Tell y'all, kids and dogs will crack your shit up. And don't be like, well you should've left earlier because I just told y'all I had to work. And don't be saying, well, you could've did that yesterday because I was editing a video yesterday. I know y'all don't think that influencers, country crazy, whatever, really work, but we do. We do. I promise you, I work a lot. So, um, I was definitely working all day yesterday to edit. 
So don't act like I could've did it yesterday. Then the day before that, I was filming and I had therapy and yeah, I be working for real. Y'all, a damn pickup truck almost ran me out the road. Oh my God, y'all. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That could have been an accident, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we fine, we fine. We are over here literally in the damn grassy field. And I cannot, like, and the car just kept on going, didn't give a damn. Like, I cannot believe this. Is that a police car? Like, I, maybe they're not in, I cannot believe this. If this damn grass was not over here, we would have been in a fucking accident. I cannot believe. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Like, we're literally sitting over here in the grass. Uh, everything is amazing. Thanks again for listening, and please. I'm just ready to get I'm just ready to get to my mama's house, y'all. She messed up. This is why I be wanting to turn my location off. Y'all remember when I tried to surprise her at church and I turned it off? I knew she was gonna check my location. So now she done called to ask why I'm out here. So then I had to tell her I'm dropping the dog off so I didn't even get to play my joke, my game. I'm very irritated because of what happened. <laughs> and then I had to rush over here. Still got here late because it's my fault. Not me being late, but I don't know why. I mean, this is funny. So I used to live in Chattanooga. I spent a lot of time here. Like, I went to school here. I was damn near raised here, between here and Georgia. And I don't know shit about this place. I don't know why I booked this pet cold all the way on the other side of town. And I say town loosely because the town ain't that big. But y'all, it took... It was, it was just one easier to book. And I don't know why I didn't book that one. Had I booked that one, y'all, we would have been there early and I would be at my mama's house right now. So now I'm upset because I booked this one all the way out here. It's damn Friday before Christmas, so traffic is crazy. And I have to come get him like in a minute, about time. As soon as I get to my mom's house, it's gonna be time to come get him. Cause the lady was like, give me an hour. She said, well, not even an hour. So I'm telling y'all, soon as I get to my mama house, it's gonna be time to come get this damn dog. Then I'm gonna have to drive all the way back through all of this traffic. And I told y'all that I'm easily overwhelmed. I am so easily overwhelmed, cause right now I'm overwhelmed. I'm hot, it's 60 degrees, and I got this damn sweater on and this damn wig on. <laughs> and it's hot, slick. And then I wanna like redo the wig cause I don't really like the side part. And I wanted to have time to do that before we go to the fish fry, which I would if I didn't have to drive down back and forth for this damn, cause I'm telling y'all, as soon as I get to my mama's house, watch that lady call. As soon, I'm telling you. Okay, I'm trying to calm down cause I'm so ag aggravated. Um, I don't, I want a, a middle part. And then I kinda wanna lift this wig it's on there though y'all see that because the uh whatever the stocking cap i feel like i can see this looks like a i don't know what it looks like y'all know i don't do hair but i don't want this um side part and then i don't have my um i need a comb it did not wash my dog good ain't no damn way Ain't no damn way. I told y'all as soon as I got here talking about he ready. Ain't no way. They didn't wash him good. Couldn't have. In Atlanta, mama, it takes sometimes two, three hours. Now, see, I knew they wasn't gonna wash that dog right. Anyway, they gonna have to wait because I'm finna do this week. And then I just realized I told them this dog name was young. You know, his thing, it definitely say yay. <laughs> but that's because his um, little health, health insurance plan is, is young. The I guess I, my dog shouldn't have all these names. Okay, y'all, let me see. This wig is on here, though. Y'all can see that, Lord. I think, did I not cut enough lace? Girl, not you can see some of the blonde hair. Girl, back, back. Okay, 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 let me, um, damn, this damn shit done held this part. I don't want it, but I don't, um, uh, 
I was trying to do this at home before I left when I realized that I didn't like the side part. But uh, it was too late because y'all know I was rushing. So let me try to not can y'all not don't do hair. This ain't the middle of my damn head. And see, the more you like be combing it and brushing it, it gets bigger, which is why I had wet it. You see how like this is all kind of straight a little bit because it done been combed and this is still wavy. I need to ask my friend how I'm supposed to do this hair. I'm pretty sure like it's a wet and wavy style. Y'all, how do I put a part in the middle of my head? Because this ain't the middle. Do it have to be smack dab in the middle? Kind of. Y'all know I'm mad as shit, right? Y'all know I'm mad as shit. Listen. Oh, I didn't tell y'all. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Because I had to do my hair, baby. I had to get that middle part on y'all hoes. Wait, wait a minute. So, y'all know how they text me. And I was like, there's no way that this dog is done this quick. In Atlanta, it take at least an hour and a half. Like, ain't no way y'all didn't watch my dog. I get a call. Like, yeah. Um, she First, when she called, she said, so. I said, so. So what? Because what? Yeah, so. This motherfucking, yes, full F word, done bit the damn groomer. There, I'm putting, bro, they're gonna put him down. Y'all keep talking, no, that mother, I told y'all he's bad. I told y'all that he's mean. He bit the groomer. She said, yeah, he broke skin, he has to go. So I was like, did he get a bath? She was like, no, not really. I'm gonna just charge you $15. We did a little wash, not really. So you wasted my time, had me rush in to get up there to get you to take your MF and tail up there to the damn groomer. You did all that, had me do, uh, just for your ass not to get washed. You still dirty. Mind you, he peed on himself not too long ago. Like another day or so ago. So like he really needed to get groomed. So he's still filthy and nasty and I cannot wash him myself because I just don't do I don't do a good thorough job that's not what I specialize in first of all he's not still enough and I just don't do a good job it's not that I don't want to wash him it's just that from the effort that I'm using to wash this dog this dog is not gonna be clean like he should be which is why I take the time and spend the money to go to the groomer and he be, I don't know y'all because he's been to the groomer before and one time they told me to try to cut his nails and he tried to bite and I thought they was lying so I was like this dog ain't bit nobody he ain't trying to bite nobody and then they eventually was like oh yeah we got to cut his nails I don't know but that's the only time I've ever heard about him even being like an issue and I told them he doesn't like the dryer so but in the tub that yum is gonna get put down he cannot be biting people I swear to God if I get this dog neutered and it doesn't change shit I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do you trying to attack dogs you bit a fucking pit bull biting people at the groomer I just don't understand a dog that submissively pees cause he's so damn scary got the nerve to be biting got the nerve to be biting you bit the damn groomer I hope and pray that these people take Apple Pay cause I ain't got nobody's wallet left a girl this has been a day bro this has been a day already I just pray the church gonna say some good stuff and calm my spirit and get me some good food fill me up cause it's been a day I ain't got no wallet I'm pretty sure that they take electronic payments I, I swear to god I hope they do cause I have no wallet don't got my wallet why'd you do that why would you ask him why are he going to show his ass in front of them white peoples why 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 you knew better him don't give a damn biting people <laughs> mama are you gonna watch him for real with what and he gonna bite you get your ass biting you know better than that you know your ass is funky <laughs> No. Y'all, holla right. Y'all see how she was talking to that dog, cussing that dog out. Now she finna go in here and fellowship with the church members. <laughs> like she wasn't just cussing at that dog. 
See how people put her on the front? I ain't put on, honey. <laughs> I ain't you know, I'm just me. Finna congregate with these church and folk after you was cussing at that dog. Probably cuss. My ass will probably cuss. Y'all see, this is why I know that I don't like hair. Cause all I want to do is like move it out of my face. And let's talk about this. What? How do you keep this from happening? Hold on. Y'all see that? <laughs> Y'all see that lace? I went to the bathroom at the church and noticed it. Yeah, I mean it's fine, like if you keep it down. But why does that happen? Like I don't glue my wigs down because they're glueless. They're not really glueless. I learned um, from a stylist that if you want your wig to be truly glueless, you get a five by five so that the lace don't come all the way to the ears. Cause that's what be lifting. Like this one lifted just a little bit, and I like that one. But as you can see, like up here is pretty good. Um. But yeah, I really just don't be liking hair on my face. It, it looks weird to me. Like, it don't look weird on... It doesn't look weird on camera to me. But like, looking at myself, I'm going to turn y'all around. I just feel like... I don't know, like it's a lot. Like there's a lot going on. Mama, did you enjoy yourself at... Uh, not church today, but... The little what did we have? Basically, our fellowship time at church. Did it you? Was cute. It was cute. Did you have fun? Yeah. Get um. Now I was looking at you when that when that lady was up there singing all along. Uh, <laughs> well, why you look like that? Come on, gang. Yay! Yeah. Yo, I should have filmed it some of it, but. By the time I was out, like, oh, this would have been good to film. I was like, forget it. I ain't show y'all my place or nothing. Look at this. This is what I was talking about with using them dirty brushes. I've been looking at that all day and it's been irritating me. I finally cleaned my brushes and it was too late. Look at this pimple. Oh, it's big. Mama, you seen this pimple on the side of my face? No, honey. I know your makeup is awful dark. My makeup is dark. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't tell now because it's yellow in here. It's that damn Dior backstage. Wait, I told y'all that Dior backstage. No, it's not. No, uh, uh. She said she had to be there at eleven. It's dark, y'all. Well, I ain't bring nothing but the Dior backstage. Mama, why do you say it's dark? It's my skin color. No. Oh, look at this. See. So, but it's not, this is like light coverage. Like it's not supposed to be full coverage. And I, I'm with you. I like my, my normal makeup be looking like got that makeup on. This one don't look like that. Cause it's like a tint. It's not a full foundation. Y'all, she really think this dog got the, got the left. You know what? I'm just going Sit right on over there, man. Your own business. I'm gonna sit in the with my uh, boots. And you better get your boy ain't surfing. You gotta be crying and whining. I'm not gonna have nothing to do with y'all. Matter of fact, you're right. Let me take my with my bonnet on. Not no damn Tennessee type of shit. Cause I got to see this. Oh, we in for a treat today. Let me get my phone. I might have to get some clips for Instagram. <laughs> Let me see. Right here. Look at this damn pimple. Oh, it is huge. Uh, this is dirty makeup brushes. Yes, and then as soon as I clean them, it's too late for me. This needs to be pop, mama. This is big. Do you see this? Mm -hmm. It's no concern of mine. Yes, come on. It's a yay man. Bite her. Bite her. You don't scare you. He needs yay. to be scared. Bite her. He is a yay master. Oh, this on BS. He ain't even saying shit. Yay, yay master. Did you get the yay master? Okay. He's a yay master. Let me get the vacuum. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look. Mama, no, this on BS. Yay this master. Is on BS. This is a yay master. I paid money for you and you still gonna be stank because you can't get draw, dry. Yay master. No, this, this is a yay master. Be yeah, yeah. Ah. Good. Jump out. 
here, yay, yes. You bit that lady at the damn groomer. Yay, But now you want to sit here and let her wash you. Do you hear me talking to you? Look at that, yay, yes. Tell them what you did. Yes. No, tell them how you bit that lady at the damn groomer. Spill it. Cause you know you did it. You're biting. You bit a dog. You bit a white woman. No, he need to be hollering. They're gonna put your ass down. You're gonna get put down for biting. Y'all see my eye? This has happened to me a little bit too much in the past six months. Like I usually never see these. This I've seen this before. I want to say the past six months, I, this has happened to me like maybe three times in my life. And then since the past six months, this has been like a reoccurring thing. Do y'all know what that is? That's called a sty and it happens when your damn tear ducts get blocked from you continuously crying and like it can't like drain and that's because you see it's not on this eye it's because i'm laying down and so like they're getting trapped and it's like bacteria getting trapped in here and it should be gone in a couple of hours but i just want y'all see this um i know that like lately i have been coming here and getting on here like in good spirits and everything if y'all can't tell i'm about to no wig i'm about to go to the gym because i need to go to the gym um but i've been getting on here in good spirits and not that I feel like I need to let y'all know, but maybe this will help somebody. I really strive to show up the way that y'all see me show up because that's really not how I feel most of the time. And yesterday, the reason y'all didn't see me after the whole bathtub thing with Ye is because I slept, all, I mean, all day. And I kind of enjoyed it because like I told y'all before I got here, I wanted to rest. But it's a deeper thing. Like, I slept. It, first of all, y'all know I get, I get up at like 8. And I slept until like 9. And then I got up and my mama made breakfast. And I was just on and off of sleep. She came back and bought me food. And like, I made a joke. Because I was like, oh, so this is how Ye live. Like, young. Like, all he do is sleep and wait for me to feed him. And I did like it. But at the same time, I'm sleeping because it's an escape. And that's... It's bad. Like, I could have rested in this watch TV all day or whatever, but I literally slept so that I don't have to deal with all the shit that's going on in my mind. I'm I'm really distraught, obviously. And so, like, even last night, my mama didn't know that like, I had to come outside so I could just fucking cry in peace. Because I don't, I'm not crying. Like, I don't want attention. It's not, I really don't want you to ask me what's wrong because I don't want to talk about it, blah, 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 all of that. So it's best for me just to remove myself because I can't control it like keep it in all the time and i'm trying not to cry right now to the point where y'all like this morning is sunday it's christmas eve and my mom was going to church and y'all know like i drive up here to go to church sometimes and i was going to go and i like got up and i went to the bathroom i turned the shower on and everything and i was like bro i can't do this because the emotional state that i'm in like i don't feel like going to church and fucking crying and everybody want to comfort you and i don't want that then i got that fucking wig on it's probably all over the place looking the mess <laughs> and I just no, I did it. I was like, bro, I'm not in the 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 mental state of being to go. I don't want everybody asking me what's wrong with me or feeling sorry for me. <sighs> bro, I did not cry. I don't care. I don't. I don't. I don't want to cry with y'all either. I don't. I'm just. I'm very tired. And not like physically. Like I'm sleepy. Obviously, I'm tired. It's just, it's like, I am not, I can't believe this. <laughs> if anything, this will make me not cry a damn face mask because I, the fact that I'm crying on camera is irritating to me. But, and it's fucking Christmas Eve. Like, yo, I'm, I'm just tired. Like, it's just, for the past six months, y'all, like, everything, I, my whole life has just been in turmoil. And it's like... It's just one thing out of another. And is it getting better? No. I don't feel like it's getting better. And I'm just tired of this. Like, I just want to be in a neutral. I'm okay. Stay. Everything's fine. That's all I want. And so, I'm very vulnerable and, like, in this position where I, I really can't, like, intake negativity. Because I'm in a vulnerable state. And so, I don't know why... I'm, I don't want to, I'm not trying to talk about my mama, but I, I just can't deal with negativity. And 
so y'all know we came up to the fish fry or I came up here for the fish fry on ch to, at church on Friday and like my dad has my location and I have I don't I haven't talked to my dad I, I mean I guess he figured that I was gonna be here for Christmas but I know we ain't talked about it or whatever so I guess he looked at my location and seen I was at church and then he texted my mom and was like praying they gonna help y'all or whatever the fuck see shit like that like I I can't intake right now because I'm so vulnerable and I'm so upset and I'm like maybe he's right like oh girl I can't y'all I just I, I cannot like and I know that he's not but it's just when you just become so tired of just shit after shit after shit just issues after issues just, just never you can't get a fucking break and that's why I'm going to the gym <laughs> Cause I'm like, bro, I can't just lay here another day. Like it's it's Christmas Eve. This is horrible. Did I really? This is the first time I've ever like cried on a vlog, and I don't even know if I'm gonna edit it out. I'll probably edit parts of it out because this is ridiculous. But yeah, I just I guess I wanted to update y'all because I know I, I know this vlog is gonna be clips all over the place, just like the last one because I told y'all like there's no sense of flow when I'm not in my environment which is another reason why I was like bro I can't move here like it, I'm not in my environment like I don't even think like I guess I would be sad at home but I don't think I would have laid in the bed all day I probably wouldn't have because I had things that I could do or should be doing or whatever I cannot have like this space where I don't have to move I guess because now I just sit and just I don't know because then I also did want to have the space that I didn't have to work but it's like if I don't preoccupy myself and I don't work which I know I should be resting because we all need rest but if I rest and not fucking work I'm going to be distraught and depressed and crying and I don't know I don't know what I should be doing because I really wanted to rest but then look what happened and then I just like everybody there is like <laughs> I could really go on because there's a lot of shit that's irking me. Like, first, this whole Simone Bow shit with her husband all over social media is pissing me off. Let me tell you why. I've told y'all before if you watched or saw because you could have been here for years and missed when I talked about this. I don't know. I really do hate that people be up in people business so much. Like, I'm over here. How? I don't give a damn about whatever her husband said. Blah, blah, blah. I really don't. Do you know why? Because I have so much other things going on in my life that I can't even, girl, first of all, them people, the type of problems I'm having, they're not having. They they probably never fucking will. So I don't have time to be sitting here, oh, this these men disrespecting that. I, don't, I just don't have the energy because I'm consumed with my own shit. And I be trying to understand how other people are not. Because I know that y'all got to have other stuff going on in y'all life that y'all just can't not be consumed with other people's lives and I get that it's like they're celebrities and whatever but no I don't get it because y'all know how I feel about Kevin and Kanye and when it comes to both of them men personal business girl I do not care at all I don't care why because I got my own shit I just cannot be getting the, the whole fact that the whole world is consumed with something that somebody's husband said and he embarrassed her I'm not saying he is or he ain't because I really just don't have the energy to give a damn I don't because I have my own shit and I just be wondering do y'all use this to distract y'all from y'all own problems or what or is it the negativity spewing out again because like that whole thing with my dad that shit pissed me off I did not need I don't need any source of negativity if you are if you can't help me you're not trying to help me shut the fuck up R respectfully please because I don't understand what negative like why why Anyway, I know that was all off on a tangent, but maybe I need to get all off on a tangent. But I'm pissed about that. <laughs> I'm also pissed because I ran into it. I'm not, of course, not going to tell y'all. But I was watching this vlogger today, and she was, like, praying, you know, and, like, talking to God. And, like, you know, Lord, I'm not going to worry about this. I'm not going to worry about that, which is all great. But then she started talking about how she was going on this lavish trip. And oh, I was distraught because I'm praying to God because I don't know what to wear. And I'm not trying to judge. I'm not. But I'm just like. Sometimes I feel like and this is exactly why I did get on the camera when, when Christmas started and I spoke to y'all about me not decorating and why I feel like a lot of content creators or whatever are tone deaf. 
like it's Christmas there are some people that have lost family members they're alone they don't have food they don't know they can't buy gifts because they're struggling to pay the fucking bills that's most of the population I'm sorry but it is that's most of the population and people get up on the fucking social media crying to God because I can't find nothing to wear to go on this damn lavish ass trip that most people will never be able to go on and I mean good for her I'm not it's just but like why are you telling us that you was crying to God about that like God is trying to feed people and console people that are contemplating suicide and I just feel like so much shit is tone deaf and it bothers me like there are heavy hearts out here I, I have one heavy hearts and it's just so much foolishness going on and I'm just like yo like do y'all even when someone said and I haven't spoke on this because I don't know too much about it because again I can't I'm not in a space where I can like deal with negativity but someone was like I don't understand how everybody's like you know about to have this feast for Christmas and open these gifts with the stuff that's going on in Palestine they was like Jesus was Palestinian and again I can't speak on that because I don't know I, I don't like to talk about shit I don't know I do know that there's like a war I don't know too much about it I haven't looked it up but I know I, ha I know something but I get like I'm not saying that cuz I mean I don't know much about it so I can't act like I'm in the uproar but I understood that person that posted that like besides that with everything else there's so much going on in the world and it's like everybody just be tone deaf and I'm not saying like that we shouldn't the people that do have gifts and family now that they shouldn't be happy and rejoiceful they should they should be very grateful because a lot of people don't have that but I'm just saying getting on here and talking about it it reminds me y'all I'm gonna go because I, I feel like I'm rambling <laughs> but it reminds me of my last job when I worked at a call center and I worked for American Express and like basically if y'all know what their platinum and their black interior cars is it's for people that got money basically and I was a travel consultant for people that had money so they booked lavish I mean this was the first time in my life I even heard about people going on trips and it's costing upwards to fifty thousand dollars like just i've never regular people like these ain't no celebrities and I, I just this was mind-blowing to me but these same people that would just have this luxury of life would call you and cuss your motherfucking ass out over the simplest of things they wanted a window seat and all of the window seats are sold out and they are cussing you out calling you everything but a child of God because they can't get a window seat but they're going to fucking Europe on this 40 day vacation like they're staying in five star hotels complaining about any and everything or this is the flight that I like y'all it was that job was so draining to me because I'm just like are y'all fucking tone deaf and I know I'm cussing a lot but I just and this is when when that stuff was going on with like all the Black Lives Matter stuff had really popped off that's when I worked there and like I'm getting these calls and I'm like yo do y'all know what's going on and y'all sitting here cussing me out about a window seat on a plane or about something wasn't together at this time. this one guy I remember specifically was like in freaking Rome and he was at this magnificent hotel because I booked it and all this and that and he was like well I don't like when I look out my window I don't have a view blah 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 and I'm just like in my head like why are you in the hotel room you're in fucking Rome you have money you I know that you have money because I can see all of your finances you, I just don't understand and it's like you find, still find anything to complain about and I'm not saying that I don't do that, y'all. I know that I complain about stuff that other people... I am not trying to act like I'm exempt from that. But there is a point where it's like, again, are you tone deaf? Because I do not think I will ever... And Lord, please, because it could be me, but we're just going to pray that you do not ever let this be me. Be at a place where, let's say, Gymshark, y'all, invited me on a brand trip. Y'all know how I feel about Gymshark. I've never been on a brand trip, too, so... No, that doesn't. Okay, yeah. No, I've ever been on a brand trip, and you know how I feel about being Jim Shark. So imagine Jim Shark reaching out to me, inviting me on a brand trip, and I get on this camera and I'm crying like, Lord, why would you let Jim Shark invite me to this brand trip when you know I don't have no new gym clothes to take with me? I just hope I never get to that point of aloofness when there are thousands of people that will never get invited on a brand trip, and then they'll never get invited by Jim. Like just. And you're over here worried about having new gym clothes. 
and that's just one example I just don't ever want to be that removed because I hope I remember exactly where I am now and maybe that's why I'm going through what I'm going through is because there's going to be a point where I get so far from this and maybe I'm going to have to look back and be like don't fucking forget when you was going through that and all you wanted was to stop and it was the worst you was just in like dismay and now that you out don't you ever forget where you came from and if that's what it is god i get it i promise i've been going through this for months i got it i won't forget i am humbled please i just need a break i just want peace i just don't want to be worried look yeah okay okay i'm sorry i'm sorry on christmas eve i'm going to the gym I, I'm, I'm gonna try to vlog y'all but look at the state that I'm in look at my eye and I'm just like why on Christmas Eve I, and I know I need to go but I just feel the need to talk last year on Christmas y'all I was here I wasn't doing anything spectacular I was single so it wasn't too much different from now but it's so different from now and I was so happy I was in a good space and I'm just like, why am I here now? Why? So that was my first time um, going to a gym in Chattanooga since like my early 20s. Is my eye still swollen? No, see, it's going down. I look like trash, but you can tell I worked out real good, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my first time going to a gym in Chattanooga since like my early 20s. Mind you, they used to, I used to go to Planet Fitness here, but y'all know I can't do Planet Fitness. Maybe you didn't know that, but I don't do Planet Fitness. Let me tell you why. Baby, they ain't got no weights. They got a Smith machine. I'm supposed to do that, okay? Anyway, this crunch is fairly new. Like, it's so new. The weights are even, like, everything smell new. I don't know how long it been open, but it's a very new gym. But y'all, culture shock. Okay, like, yeah, y'all. When I walked in there, it was funny because I seen my be <laughs> my best friend, ex um son son in law, ex brother in law. But other than that, y'all, it wasn't nobody in there that looked like me. No girls in there that looked like me. Not one. There was like two guys in there that looked like me. If y'all get my drift, no women in there that looked like me. I didn't see not one camera out, no tripod, no nothing. I'm telling y'all, this is not the place for that. I just know, and I had my oh, I look so bad. I'm looking at my hair, my hat, girl girl anyway i had my tripod in my gym bag and i was like let me just show them because i did my rdls what what weight was that i don't think i've done that before but i don't know because i haven't been tracking my weight and actually going into the first we finna start tracking our weight again but i did 45 times five. Oh my god i romanian dad live 225 today see i wanted to show y'all that but I was afraid like I didn't see not one tripod not one camera like nothing I knew that this was not the place for that but I really know now so yeah I I couldn't move here y'all it would I would be depressed AF like I told y'all in a previously previous vlog like it might not cost you money everything costs something and it always don't got to be a financial cost associated with it but there's other costs like your mental fucking health and this Cause I feel so much better now just from working out and just imagine like if I didn't work out like get content like I love oh, let's talk about that I know I'm just chatty 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 but I was thinking about how like I told y'all um like I uploaded a picture with the last time I did a, what I get what I ended up would get ready with me and I told y'all I had my Fendi hair wrap on right and I was like now nah, I'm about to go take pictures these pictures was not even the cutest I didn't think so I like it was just whatever and I was like but watch this shit blow up on Instagram now blowing up for me it ain't really blowing up if I get a thousand likes on, on anything that's a shit ton for me especially with the algorithm doing what it's doing the algorithm is not showing posts and I, I'm not gonna complain because that's just what it is but I literally look at like my likes now so even on my gym video it'll show like it'll show you your reach and my reach is let's say about 3,000 and I'll have 350 likes on that that's pretty good that's about 10% but why are you only showing my shit to 3,000 people and I got over 40k followers but that's another thing anyway back to what I was trying to get to um I told y'all I was gonna post that picture and it was not even trying. That picture has over 1,500 likes. But when I post a gym, you know, vlog or me or some me and some gym clothes, like because I'm trying to be fitness is what y'all asked for. Shit, nothing doesn't get in. I ain't gonna say it don't get nothing. Like I said, it'll it do good for the reach that it gets. 
but that picture got just as much reach as those gym things and got way more likes but that's neither here nor there the, what i was getting to is i truly enjoy making gym content i don't know i love it i know i look a mess but i don't know it's what i like to do on my instagram feed when i'm scrolling and i see girls flexing their muscles they in their gym clothes they in the gym i like that i that makes me happy and when I see girls that have like pretty outfits on their hair and makeup done, it's okay. And not, not again, no shade. I'm just my, me personally. Yeah, that's cute and all, but I really love gym content. Like it just makes me happy to the point where I was today. Y'all know how I was before I went in there. And I was thinking like, bro, this, I don't care what I'm asking. And I'm like, what's my person? This isn't that, but this is, I love this shit. Like I love the gym. I love fitness i know i'm not the smallest person i'm not the fittest person i'm not whatever but i love everything about working out and moving my body and it's just crazy because i was never this person like i didn't play sports as a kid i was real girly like all this sweat and stuff i would be disgusted i wouldn't want to have nothing to do with this and now i'm like bro this made my day had i not been able to go to the gym today i would have been in the bed crying probably all day depressed whatever and i was like bro it's something maybe and i talked about this before i really would like people to get what i get out of the gym because it's just the best outlet like it's something like you know how people go out and drink with their friends to relieve stress and we are not shaming nobody for how they relieve stress but what if there was a way that you genuinely enjoyed and it helped you relieve stress and it was good for you I want that for everybody because I have something that I love wholeheartedly I don't feel like it's a chore I don't want to do it now granted y'all know some days I don't but 85 to 90 percent of the times I love it and I want to do it and it's great for me it's amazing for me it's nothing it's no cons to the shit except for this your head be looking at oh girl that's the only con like your hair that really y'all that is the con because especially if you a girly girl and every other day you want to be slayed and looking good y'all know Brooklyn supposed to go to the gym with me y'all didn't know that but she was but she chose to get her hair done instead and she don't want to sweat her hair out and I totally get it like I got my wig at home. Even if I didn't have my wig, y'all know I'll lay this shit down, wrap it up, let it dry, and I'm good to go. That's why bald is the life for me. Bald is the life for me because now this is my life. Like, this just gave me life. Okay, I'm talking too damn much. I'm about to go. I have no idea what the rest of the day holds, y'all. I wanted to go get this smoothie. One of y'all asked me to try. Fun fact, the Smoothie King is right here. The one right here. But it shut down and the other one is literally all on the other side of town by the mall and it's Christmas Eve. So I guess not. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Looking better. I feel better. I'm so glad I went to the gym. Cause yeah, see, see how the gym just I hope everybody has something like that. Like that like gets them back when they when they come off the rails, they're being derailed. They have something that just gets them back, gravitates them back down to earth. And if you don't, I really do pray that you find something like that because I feel so bad because I didn't go to church, y'all. Because it's Christmas Eve, first of all. Second of all, Bree is Brooke. Because y'all don't see too much of nobody but Brooke. But Brooke has siblings. Braxton is her brother and Bree is her sister. And Bree sung today like with the church choir. And I missed all of that because I was emotional and my feelings and battling my own things. And I know I'm supposed to give myself grace. And I want to give myself grace. And I was able to bring myself back. But I do hate that I missed that and let the damn devil steal Christmas. <laughs> um, but I'm not though, cause we steal Christmas is tomorrow. So I, I felt how I felt earlier, but I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> um, so I'm about to go to Sam's to get my mama some stuff to make her strawberry daiquiris. Um, damn, Sam's, the grocery store, and then I gotta go to the liquor store to get her some Bacardi for her decorations. And then I'ma go hang out with my cousins like I should have did yesterday. Cause Brooke showed told me to come over there and I didn't cause I was sleeping. But I'ma make sure that I go I'm trying to think about it to get there, y'all. Okay. I'ma make sure that I go today for sure. Because that's the whole reason I'm up here is to hang out with my family. And I know my mama gonna be in the bed. That's what she do. But I done spent time with her. So I'm going to round up the cousins and the cousins are going to cousin. And I know that that'll make me feel better and in good spirits, cause I, I love hanging with my cousins. But I really do just suck that I wasn't, that I didn't go to church this morning. 
And then my mama said, literally, they how I just said that letting the devil steal Christmas. My mama said that the sermon today was about the Grinch stealing Christmas. And I'm sure that the Grinch was not necessarily the Grinch, the devil. So, um, yeah, I, I hate that I missed it, but I'm just glad I'm in a better spirit and I'm not like uh, carrying that shit. Like, because I really, y'all, to be honest with y'all, how bad I felt this morning and like just sad about my situation and everything I was like yo I should just go home because I don't want to again I don't like to be like if I know I'm feeling upset or sad about something I don't want to come around you because it's gonna everybody's gonna know like you can feel with something wrong and the first thing you're gonna do is be like what's wrong and be like oh and I don't that ain't what I'm trying to do <laughs> so I was like damn you should just go home but I feel better now I'm good my mama made neck my mama made uh, neck bones and lima beans. She was making some old ass southern food. Neck bones, lima beans, and some roasted potatoes. But I ate um, ate some of it. And it was okay. Uh, but tomorrow she making steaks and I'm here for that. Ooh, let me not forget to get my damn sour cream for my potatoes. Uh, but I was like, I'm probably going to grab something to eat later because I don't want to eat that again. Because I was literally talking to my mama and I was like, Mama, what the hell is neck bones? I was like, is it pork? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, well, what animal do it come from? Then I was like, never mind. If it's pork, it obviously comes from the pig. But yeah, neck bones are pork. And y'all, as much as I, I do eat pork, and I'm never not going to eat pork, but pork, we all know, is just not the best meat to eat. I don't want to, like, if I'm going to be eating pork, I want to feel good about it, meaning it's ribs. Meaning, like, let it be worth it. Like, it was some good-ass ribs or something. Not no neck bones. So I was like, yeah, I'm probably not gonna eat that again, but what make it so bad, you know, if I get hungry later, that's what I mean by eat it again. What make it so damn bad is, okay, what you gonna do? Run up on the highway and grab a burger? Like, that's any better. But I don't know, because if I end up with Brooke and them, they probably have food over there or something. So, I don't know, but I need to go and get this stuff, and I'm hoping that Sam's has some type of cheesecake or something, Lord, knowing I don't need it. My mom was like, but you bought that pretzel bread. I was like, girl, that pretzel bread this big, and it is. Uh, I'm trying to, let me tell y'all what I'm trying to do. Even yesterday, last night, I wasn't hungry because my mama bought me like this uh, barbecue potato and it was so good and it was massive. So like, I was eating it all through the day when I wasn't asleep. But because of, and I know y'all can relate to this, because of my state of mindset and I don't feel like the happiest, I be wanting to eat so I could feel it's like I'm trying to fill a void with food. And I know we do this. And I know that I do this. And this was something that I really do. As much as I come and preach to y'all about like, I'm going to eat what I want to eat. That's fine. But I do want to stop trying to fill voids with food. Because I feel like that that's not any better than filling a void with liquor or like whatever. You know, like it's still you are. Food isn't there to be like a comfort to you and I I know it is but not like to the fact where like oh life sucks I'm upset let me sit up here and eat a damn cheesecake that is why we big um unhealthy is not healthy like a slice everything moderation and I'm saying that because cheesecake is it's very fattening and it's a lot of sugar it's just not good for you yes you can have a slice you can have two but you don't need to eat half of it or the whole one and the reason that we do that is because we're trying to fill a fucking void and I'm glad the exercise was there to fill my void this morning because I did want to go get some food. I ain't gonna hold you on. I was like, no, I'm gonna go work out. And I need to try to keep that. And this, it, listen, it is harder said than done. I'm I know, cause I'll be the first one to turn into some food when life ain't working right. I remember this, and I, I think I told this story before. But I remember when I had a job and it was across town and it was a really bad wreck. And it took me it usually took me an hour to get home, and it took me two hours to get home. And while I was in the car frustrated with all that traffic. I told myself I'm going to Burger King and I'm ordering whatever my heart desire and the only thing that got me through that shit was knowing I was going to Burger King I don't know why I was Burger King that's what I had to taste for and I just wanted the sloppiest cheesiest greasiest burger that they had and that was to make me feel better about the discomfort that I had to sit through with the traffic and I know that that's insane but I also know that y'all can relate and I know y'all can I know that we all do the same thing because I know I'm talking to a specific person I feel like y'all know when they say like make um, content for your audience and I think about who my audience is I really feel like my audience is me and not like oh I'm making content for myself but more so like the, the ails and the issues and the problems that I have I feel like y'all have the same ones and that's why y'all are here and that's why y'all appreciate it like my content so when I'm talking I know I'm talking to myself so I know that this done reached one of y'all two of y'all probably three four y'all hey y'all 
first place down, we had to go to Sam's for strawberries because my mama wanted the big old frozen bag and Sam's had them. Um, so uh, they had cheesecake, but I forgot, you know, Sam's is a buy in bulk type of store. So they had mini cheesecakes, but it was like six of them. Y'all, they had caramel and Oreo. And I wanted them so bad, but remember what I literally just said to y'all about using food to, to fill a void? Yeah, and I didn't need six mini cheesecakes. Like, if it was three of them, I probably would have got them and, you know, kind of split them up. But that was too much on me, and I don't like to waste food. Plus, they was like, I think like $18. And I, no, I didn't want to waste that, and I don't need six cheesecakes. And I will eat them because I don't want to waste them. So, I was like, well, let me not get it. Um, Because, yeah, I, I really want to... I know that I know what to do, but I want them people that don't do what I do, do what I tell you to do. But yeah, like, so I be telling y'all, do this, this, and that, but I want to, like, be able to preach what I speak type of thing. So, damn, y'all, I'm trying to run over here to Smoothie King, because remember I told y'all it was, like, on the other side of town. Well, I happen to be on the other side of town now. So, uh, I want to run up here to Smoothie King to try that smoothie y'all told me to. But yeah, I was like, I'm not going to get these damn cheesecakes because I don't need all those cheesecakes. And y'all, it's 66 degrees on December 24th. I'm actually hot. Like, I need some air. Um, oh, Jesus, that was a wide turn. But I have to go to another regular store. It's called Food City. It used to be Bilo. That's when it was lit. I don't know what the hell Food City is, but if they have something that looks appetizing and it's a small portion, I guess. Um, since I'm going over here though to this Smoothie King, Trader Joe's. Y'all, two things. I have an hour before I have to run to two more stores, but I went to get my smoothie from Smoothie King and it was right over here on the same place where that Trader Joe's was and y'all know what I was looking for. I'm throwing shit out the bag. Oh my God. Y'all, when I tell y'all I got four boxes of these, I was so excited. Did I get four? Yes. I grabbed four boxes of these. And then I'll show y'all the other stuff that I got. It ain't much. But I have to show y'all when we get back because I have to like get there. But do y'all know how happy I was to see them crisps? Because I gave up on them. Because like in Atlanta, they was pretty much sold out. And people were talking about them like on social media. And so I was like, damn, I know they ain't going to have them here. Baby. Got them four boxes, what's up? I'm so excited. Oh my God, I done dropped my key. Lord, oh, and this smoothie that homegirl told me to get, what is this? The kiwi, the apple kale kiwi or something like that? Mm-hmm. Show you right on, girl. This one, hey, this one about to be in rotation and it actually has a veggie in it. I know I gotta go, damn, my turn signal on, but I wanna see the um nutrition facts for this. Cause some other smoothies I be having, like y'all, they don't really be having no nutritional value like that. They just taste good. But I want to see what this one got going on. Cause I really like it. And it's actually like a green smoothie. I appreciate that. So Smoothie King, what is it? Apple Kiwi Kale, yep. Let's see. It's a wellness blend and it has 277 calories. So it's a bit mo. I think it's more than like my island impact. Hold on. I want to see it like officially like on the site. Yeah, girl, it's almost 300 calories. And it has electrolytes in it. It's kale, bananas. I knew I tasted banana. Apple juice, kiwi, apple juice, and electrolytes. But it's really good though. At least the first ingredient is kale. A win is a win. Got my green juice in. Not that rhyme bars. I went to six different stores, six of them. And Publix does have them, but for whatever reason, everybody wants strawberry because they had the place for them. Everybody got lime and every other flavor. I went to six different six what for I you. Tell you Mom. Didn't I tell you she out there looking for that six. And I feel so defeated to have to come back empty handed. But I would have kept going, but everybody about to close. I was finna drive to Udawa, go to that Publix. I went you know, to both of the food you know cities. You know it's a food city out there in Harrison. You know it's a food city in East Ridge. Well, it's everybody closed. Oh, they closed at six, that's why I stopped. Uh, uh, what's your name? Let me. <laughs> what's your name? You want some, uh, chicken salad? Mm-mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, no. What it got in it? Eggs Where you get it from? I made it. I take some. Mama, I went to six different stores for you. Six different stores. I don't.
don't know why you just couldn't use the the, the syrup. I have some at home. It's it's very sweet. You didn't. You could use the syrup, the strawberries, the frozen strawberries, the liquor. I went. And they have the syrup at the liquor store. Probably, but they have it at the store. Liquor store clothes. No, it ain't. Do you want me to go? Oh Lord, do you want me to go to the liquor store? Mm -hmm. What do you want me to look for? See, Lord. The strawberry daiquiri syrup, I guess. Man, show you. Oh, I went to six stores. Six stores <laughs> looking for her strawberry Bacardi mix, and everybody was sold out. That's what you do for your mama. Yeah, that's what you do for your mama. But then I told that's her to get. You do for your mama. But I told her to get the strawberry syrup, but she didn't want it. Just for me to get home, be like, Mama, I went this place, I went that place. Well, go get the strawberry syrup. Anyway, y'all, I went to Trader Joe's and I literally got four boxes of the Styling Crisp. Like, I wasn't playing four. And guess what? If I happen to go to one when I get back home and see something, I'm going to get smoked. But y'all not going to catch me slipping ever again. Four boxes. And I wanted to try these. So if I got hungry, I bought these. Um, the little Trader Joe's mini cheeseburgers. I heard that wasn't good. But whatever. Um, oh, all three of these are only 580 calories. That's not bad. So I got these. Oh, and I put these in the fridge. I got these for us to have for breakfast. The uh, little silver dollar pancakes from Trader Joe's. I got this. And um, y'all know I showed y'all these in the last vlog. I, I like these little seaweed cracker things. They good. So, I guess I won't be getting no daiquiris because we about to go. What? Yeah, it's juice. Oh, the lace still rolled up on me. <laughs> y'all, I took my wig off because I got hot and I just plopped it back on. Look at it. I just want y'all to see how I'm holding. This is Hershey. You see how we can just hold them? In my lap, calm and collected. Nothing like Young. Look how I hurt. If Young would just act right and sit and be still. See? But no. But no. Hershey, you want to come stay with me? Yeah, you scared of me, Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> you got all right to be scared of me. Don't act right. Poor oh, Hirsch. You so soft. Brooke, I'm taking Hershey. We're booking it up. Hershey does absolutely nothing. What you want him to do? That's how I sound about you. Like, they don't do nothing. He lays down all day. That's what Yum do. All he do is sleep. No. Sometimes he'll get up and play. I thought you were the name of the I did, but I call him yum sometimes because he eat everything. Mm -hmm. Bro, what the hell? Okay, Hershey, are you getting um restless? Y'all see his little sweater? I'm going to put you down while so I fix my wig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I asked Brooke to get me a straw for my ginger ale, and she act like I committed a crime. A straw? Look at Jen on the counter. It must be nice to be that little. If I get up there, y'all, granny gonna crack. <laughs> yeah, she said, if I get on top of here, your granny gonna crack. <laughs> Is it cold, Brooke? Where my straw? It's, it's, it's somewhat cold. It's somewhat cold. Oh, okay. no. Uh, where my straw? Then you wanted me to drink it like this and it's abused. Look, you can handle it. Look at this, Jen. And I asked for a straw. She had like I committed a crime. Let me see. It's all beat up. What you want me to do? Bend it to No. That's fine. Thank you. What you want me to do? It's okay. Just like this. I gotta bend it for you. No. I gotta bend it for you. Thanks. No, just give me a pop. No. You know I'm very much a pop. You think this gonna get on me? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, Lord. Y'all, look here for like bundles. The real Britain snow, Mia. Don't y'all be how y'all be taking them bundles and doing. Why do they do this, Anaya? Body movement. Do it. That when they have bundles, they be taking their hand under look at that. and doing it like this. Jane, really like that. You didn't get my bundles, Mia Snow. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you have bundles in? No, this is my real hair. Cause you know sometimes I don't be knowing. I have my real hair. It looks just like the fake hair. Uh huh. It's the real deal this time, media. And Carrot was talking mess. Girl crazy. 
Party. Why you put your car clip back here? Y'all, I put a clip. Wait, nah, let me show them, because y'all can't play me. Like, I can't have no car clip. Mm-mm. Ooh, I'm sorry. Uh oh. Oh. You don't rip my What? She got it. Get it off. Oh. Cause remember how on Facebook I, like, I want to wear a claw clip and I was like, don't play with me. Put the wig on. Yeah. Let's do it. Do it. More Hershey. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> Be your own, it be your own family. That is horrible. That is horrible. I tried to get myself back together, but. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. How you just adjust some hair on your head? How you doing? I came over here to look at um Bree's gingerbread. Bree, you always doing something like. We got a baby over crafty. here. Yes, like are you into home economics? Hey, if that's what you, if that's crafting, then yes. You like cooking and stuff? Like Merry yeah. Hey. Even though I can't cook. I want some money. You handing out money and I got my hand out. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. You, you giving out money, I got my hand out. Like, what's up? What you doing, Nana? What you doing, Nana? What you doing, Nana? Yeah. Why, why Brie like to do crafty stuff? I don't know. She is for real about this house. I seen you with the white stuff and I thought that was for the cookies. But I'm gonna put the marshmallows on. So what is the, the white stuff like help it stick together? Yeah, that's the icing. Are you gonna eat that? Yeah. No. Well, maybe. Y'all love what? <laughs> Ooh, girl. <laughs> Ooh, girl, what happened to your house? To it. It Wait a minute, who is this? Hershey. Huh? Outside the house. That's Hershey. He look just there. like him. Are you gonna eat it? No. No. No, that's gonna make me sick. Oh shit. Oh, there's two. What are you doing to it? Oops. And what's the white stuff for? Just to try and keep it together. It's not hardened yet, so it's gonna fall apart. I never made a gingerbread house before. <laughs> Me neither. Oh shoot, I knocked something over. Look at her, she. Whatever. <laughs> oh, it's a big fat hole. No, whatever. It's just gonna stay there. Okay. Oh lord. Look at this house. <laughs> You know, ain't no aesthetics at your mama's house. I had to bring my Gymshark clothes for my little cousin because she done switched to honor active. And I gotta show her what type of family this is. It's a Gymshark family, okay? It's a Gymshark family. What you mean, honor active? And I just gotta say, why didn't nobody tell me about this? We were supposed to have pancakes this morning. And I got up like, why we don't have no breakfast? Look at these pancakes. Look. I did not know these pancakes was tiny. And I would have known had I looked at the nutrition facts that tells me the serving size is 10 pancakes for 240 calories, cause like how? But I, yeah. This is nothing for you. <laughs> it's raining like fuck on Christmas and I'm not mad about it cause I feel like the way this year was, the weather is mirroring it. And I'm not trying to be no Grinch, I'm not. I hope that all of y'all had like a happy Christmas full of love and with your family. And I am grateful for the family that I have. But I just want to say, I feel like the weather is very symbolic. <laughs> um, but yeah, I went to my little cousin to get dressed so we can go to Sheeta's house or Brooke Mama's house. Y'all don't even know who Sheeta is, but y'all know who Brooke is and Sheeta the mama. But um, yeah, we're gonna go over there and spend some time. And I mean, that's pretty much it, y'all. That's pretty much it. Not really feeling it, doesn't even feel Christmassy at all. But I'm pretty sure when I get over there, I might feel a little bit better because they had like presents and stuff. And oh, yesterday we um put up the gumball machine. Well, me and Sheeta did, we had to do it in private, so like it's way more Christmassy there than it is here. And I'm really just standing outside because it's hot as hell in my mama's house. 
old people don't want to turn the air on just because it's December. But it's like 58 outside. Like it's still kind of warm out here. Then this wig gonna make it no different. I mean, no better. Y'all, he was over here trying to bite again. Trying to bite my cousin over here barking. Y'all know he don't bark. But now he calm because he see them steaks up here. But you're not getting anything because you've been biting. You on the naughty list. Go be her friend and I don't care. You can stay here with her. Go on, boy. Honor at the pool. Honor at the pool. Honor at the pool. Look, look at this. Wait, I'm trying to show the logo. Whatever. Whatever. This is a Gymshark family. This is a gym. Then you got on Nike with it. I'm broke. This is a Gymshark family. Oh, this is the only gift I got that's like wrapped up and stuff. So <laughs> I decided I was going to feel unboxing it. I had um, two of my friends gave me Starbucks gift cards. I know we ain't supposed to be shopping with them, but I got $50 seeds, which I want me to do. So let's see what this is. This from my auntie. It's a spray. No, oh, oh, oh my god, they're little Yankee candles. <laughs> it's a safe citrus <laughs> weed. I thought it because it was turned like this. I was like, oh, it's some perfume. And I turned out, like, oh no, it's little Yankee candles. <laughs> oh, thank you. See, uh, white grapefruit. It smells good. But what what's the call? These are so cute and little. Oh, small, small, small. Okay. Okay. This smells good. Oh. This one is holiday zest. Amazon. This one smells like berries, like cranberry. And then this one is sage and citrus. Yeah, I like this one in the white one. That's very Christmas like. That stinks. It doesn't stink. It's Christmassy. But it ain't Christmassy all of here. That's one, but it's little. So we go ahead and start burning it now. It'll be done. <laughs> it ain't gonna take long. Wait, I told y'all what type of family this was. What you say, Netta? You I like love what? your pants, Gym Shark. Baby. Thank you. She walked in this park outfit. And you got on that owner act. Let me see. Mm. Every time I look, you cry more than my she cries every day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell my business, Jim. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Let's go somewhere. We gotta eat. Look. Yeah, I can help you. You like no bitch. Hershey. Come on, Hershey. You scared of the car? We're gonna start barking at it. Where you at? Hershey. You like girl. <laughs> He ain't gonna let me chase him. Look, you see him? <laughs> this car is hard to drive. And it go fast. <laughs> He's like, the Lambo. Curse it gone. It was so good. <laughs> I want another plate. What, you, what, what was you talking about over here? I said I ate this food. It was what so was you good. talking about? Tell That's it to my face. That, what you rap? I was just saying I, the food. I want some more, but I'm full. It was so good. The sweet potatoes with cinnamony and sweet. And she had the nerve to say that marshmallows on sweet potatoes was better than the regular ham. Today was they good last time for better. Thanksgiving. No, the marsh. No, they too sweet. The yams are perfect. They was. And the dressing and the macaroni and cheese. And I could go to sleep. And my mama, what did my mama, my mama always not cook. So remember for Thanksgiving what she made? So to this year for Christmas, she made steak, salad, and potatoes. <laughs> Which I'm not mad at, cause I mean, but. Dressing, you sweet think, potatoes, so you, so macaroni and cheese. So you're with the people that think that you, know, you should eat Thanksgiving for Christmas. Not necessarily, but if I, since I don't, Brooke asked me, she said, you really like soul food, and I said, we well, gotta think about it, I don't get it often, because when I cook for myself, y'all know I cook like a protein, a carb, which is veggie or rice, and then a, 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 um, a vegetable, so I don't get to eat it often, 
So that's why I be wanting it. But like the steaks wasn't bad. Thanksgiving was I was mad because she like it's like she made Thanksgiving food, but you did it a little bit. You ain't got because you didn't make no macaroni and cheese, no dressing. You made ham, greens, and devil eggs. You're just like athlete. Look at your the leg, like how your leg is shaped. How's my leg shaped? You can tell that you work out. Like it's a. My legs have always. She like, like I said, her shape. butt is big, but she wants it to be all the way out here. I want this, right? No, here. you, you don't. That? that oh, the hip dip yes, thing. Yes. Jen, but like you got to uh, also like again, your frame is small. Like if this filled out. It's not going like to. You gotta be I need it. To. Hip, so you it, do you gotta get plastic surgery then? I don't have no <laughs> hips plastic either. Surgery. I don't have hips. Oh, you gotta hold these up. Y'all think I can get in them? They actually don't look that small. Oh, they don't look that small with you hold. Literally, them. look. They're extra small, y'all. Look at that. She's so little. I'm getting mm -hmm. I'm a but this is what look so she got this for Christmas. So this is what she supposed to be getting. I don't know what the hell this owner at the Jen. Look at this. Yes. Jen, like she's small. Look at she's that. Small. I'm, uh, did you just call me? You fat? said that's an extra no, small. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go put it on y'all. Which y'all think I can get it on? No. <laughs> What about this? Because I can barely be getting it on sometimes. Y'all look, this is my hand. This is the bra. But you got so on the act if it doesn't suck you. Yes, in. it does. But then again, I don't have a lot to suck She's in. So little. Like, oh, Must be nice, y'all. Let me see. Look at the little look, look, this is what I like. She got little bumps on her stomach. Why do you like that? That's so annoying. No. It's because I made the mistake of shaving my stomach. She got little bumps on school. her stomach. Feel it. This feels so, so funny. Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> she shaved the hair off in it. I'm going to start waxing it. It's okay. Do I got hair on my stomach? I guess. Yeah, you see that long hair? Yeah. But yours are like, it's because I shaved it. Mine's that it got worse. It was a lot of hair. Huh? It was a lot no, of hair. I was just Are being, I was just meddling. Oh, cause yeah, yeah, they got this long little hair. Oh yeah. Let me go pack my so I don't. The extra small. Yeah. Look at this damn lace, Brooke. Do you see my lace? <laughs> Can I pull it off again? No. So do you like put makeup over it or? I mean, if I had makeup on, but since I don't, I want to try this melting foam that this girl had on TikTok. But the next week I got is like a little closer week, so I don't think I need to. Y'all about to leave? Yeah, I took the, the skin filter off my camera. And I popped the pimple that was right there. I think I showed y'all the pimple, now it's a mark. I hope it go away, but it's okay, like I'm old. Y'all, okay, I gotta show y'all my outfit. Oh, I forgot Brooke had the LED mirror that I want, but anyway. Okay, cause this is a Gymshark house, or family. House, no family. Brooke don't care about Jim Shark. Okay, it's a Jim Shark family. I done told that girl. 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 Y'all, if I had hair or it's like I oh, wore wigs all the time, this how I would look with like athletic wear on. <laughs> they like, girl, we get it. We seen the outfit, child. Did you know? I just wanted to make sure. Did you? Why did it get dark? Uh oh. Who won the $80 game? Rats. Look, y'all. How about I done put the whole family on to the, the clean skin club? Oh, they redid the box? So, y'all know I had them. Then my mama got them. Then I came up here. And these was in her mama closet. And then I guess she got some for Christmas. But who put y'all on? They, what is it, like $30 for this box, I think? Because yeah. I always run out of mine. How long you been using them? I've been having, I okay, so I swip, I um I swap the brands. I get the bamboo ones, but those stink. It's one, it's some in a green box that's cheaper than those, but they stink. Are they the same? They, it's like the same, but they have a oh, scent to them that right. stink. And I was like, I don't want No, nah, I don't want no scent. And I just didn't like that, so. This is like, I got some, I got the little box because I accidentally bought 25 and that ain't enough. So I asked for one for some place. I mean, but this only lasts two months. If you but use that one 20, every but day. But guess what that 25 only lasts me for like 
the and I be using yeah because I use them twice a day most of the time if I got makeup on no because I still wash See, my Jen, face in the morning Jen, and the night I told Jen, if that thing is white crazy. if that thing is white I'm going to use that another time I'm gonna use it twice oh completely white I do it sometimes I ain't gonna hold you but no sometimes but Jen be like Brent, that's Whatever like we be using that washcloth. It ain't got nothing. Before we had these, did we not use the washcloth? How many times? Shoes and things are too expensive just for one use. I'm high. I got Yankee. They good smelling. She got no. We both. She got the pumpkin ones. Team. I got the pumpkin ones. The holiday one. The red box. The holiday. Yum! The spice pumpkin, the apple pumpkin. I'm trying to get his dog a treat and see he don't listen. Yum! Yeah, Yankee candles expensive. Sit down. No, get off me. No. Uh uh. Sit down. Sit down. Now you thought I was gonna let Christmas sit down. Move. See, he won't sit down. You thought I was gonna forget about you for Christmas? I try to do right by you. See, come here. You just get, y'all get, sit down. Jesus Christ, sit, sit down, sit down. Why do you have to be like that? That's why he's staying in the cage. Come here, leave her stuff alone. Okay. Sit down. Love you. Sit down. You don't even deserve it. No. Sit down. You don't deserve it. Okay. Sit down. What did I say? Sit down. Sit down. Jesus. Then look how he snatched it up. And it's funny, mama, because today I seen a video with Bash, and I had just clicked on this random video. And in the video, I said, now if Bash don't last long, y'all know why, because he had sat up there and pissed in his bed. Did y'all see how this MF will snatch this cookie out of my hand? Her, she don't snatch treats. Hamadi at the dog pound didn't snatch no treats. Why are you like this? Ain't that paper on it? He snatched it out my hand. He snatched it out my hand. This how we got in the damn vlog. Just ridiculous. Just chaos. Chaos. Leave it alone. 